Her şeyi deneyin. Right, ready?
My dear people of God, if you are listening from any part of the world or care at what we welcome to this Eucharistic celebration. We have Father Philip Tart presiding. I hope me he is going to be table of plenty. We will sing the first and the last stanza. Come to the feast of heaven alone. Come to the table of plenty. God will provide for all our need. Here are the as our friends. I wait to welcome the lost and lonely to share the cup of my love. Come to the feast of heaven on earth. Come to the table of plenty. God will provide for who have been sickened by this virus, pray for those who have died, pray for people who work in our medical department, doctors, nurses, pray especially for researchers, that God may provide clear guidance to find an answer to this dilemma. I also want to pray for every one of you who is living in constant anxiety and fear at this time, because we're just unsure of what might happen to us. 
We pray that God may come and say, is quieten our fears and give us the confidence that we can face this because his grace is with us. And so let us go to God this morning in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. To prepare ourselves for this Mass, let us call to mind our sins, ask God's mercy and forgiveness. Lord Jesus, with the grace of your healing, please bring healing to all our sick. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Lord Jesus, with the grace of your wisdom, please bring wisdom to all our medical researchers. Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord Jesus, with the grace of courage and confidence, please help quieten our fears, our doubts, and our anxieties. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to life everlasting. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who renew the world through mysteries beyond all telling, grant, we pray, that your church may be guided by the eternal design and not be deprived of your help in this present age. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Our first reading is taken from the book of Isaiah. Thus says the Lord, Lo, I am about to create new heavens and a new earth. The things of the past shall not be remembered or come to mind. Instead, there shall always be rejoicing and happiness in what I create. For I create Jerusalem to be a joy and its people to be a delight. I will rejoice in Jerusalem and exult in my people. No longer shall the sound of weeping be heard there or sound of crying. No longer shall there be in it an infant who lives but a few days or an old man who does not round out his whole lifetime. He dies as near you, who reaches but a hundred years, and he who fails of a hundred shall be thought a cost. They shall live in the houses they build, and eat the fruit of the vineyard they plant. My dear people of God, the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our response to the psalm is, I will praise you, Lord, for you have rescued me. I will praise you, Lord, for you have rescued me. I will extol you, O Lord, for you drew me clear and did not let my enemies rejoice over me. O Lord, you taught me, you brought me up from the middle world. You preserved me from among those going down into the pit. I, I will praise, praise you, Lord, for you have, have rescued, rescued me. me. Sing praise to the Lord, you his faithful ones, and give thanks to his holy name. For his anger lasts but a moment, a lifetime his good will. At nightfall, weeping enters in, but with the dawn rejoicing. I, I will praise, praise you, Lord, for you have, have rescued, rescued me. me. Hear, O Lord, and have pity on me. O Lord, be my helper. You changed my morning into dancing. O Lord, my God, forever I will give you thanks. I will praise, praise you, Lord, Lord, for you, you have, have rescued, rescued me. Glory and praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Glory and praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Seek good and 
not evil so that you may live and the Lord will be with you. Glory and praise to you. sisters and brothers, the Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory be to you, O Lord. At that time, Jesus left Samaria for Galilee. For Jesus himself testified that a prophet has no honor in his native place. When he came into Galilee, the Galileans welcomed him. Since they had seen all he had done in Jerusalem at the feast, for they themselves had gone to the feast. Then he returned to Cana in Galilee, where he had made the water wine. And there was a royal official whose son was ill in Capernaum. When he heard that Jesus had arrived in Galilee from Judea, he went to him and asked him to come down and heal his son who was near death. Jesus said to him, Unless you people see signs and wonders, you will not believe. The royal official said to him, Sir, come down before my child dies. Jesus said to him, You may go. Your son will live. The man believed what Jesus said to him and left. While the man was on his way back, his slaves met him and told him that his boy would live. He asked them when he began to recover. They told him the fever left him yesterday about one in the afternoon. The father realized that just at that time, Jesus had said to him, your son will live. And he and his whole household came to believe. Now this was the second sign Jesus did when he came to Galilee from Judea. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. My dear friends, I will reflect with you from the Gospel reading. And I'd like us to pay attention to what is happening here. I'd like to pay particular attention to this royal official whose son was sick, so sick that he was near death. Maybe some of us can relate to what this father was feeling. Just think about what was going through his father's mind at this time. Maybe his son might die. Maybe if that was his only son, he may not have a son anymore. Or that people might judge him for not being a very good father, for not looking out and making sure everything was okay with his son. What was going through his mind? Now, one might suspect that this father was desperate. And I believe he was. I don't know how many opportunities he had tried with medical doctors to see to the healing of his son, and nothing came out of it. Because generally, people go to hospitals when their children are sick, or when we are all sick. My mind tells me this was an act of desperation. Because this man wasn't a Jew. He did not believe in the same God with Jesus. But generally, when we are desperate, we do things that shock our own sensitivities and sensibilities. So he went to Jesus. But I think that was the right call. Not because he knew it, because he wasn't sure if Jesus would listen to him. So maybe that's where you are right now. I'm not saying to you, by any stretch of imagination, that if you are feeling sick, you should just pray. Prayer must be part of it. But we must do the one reasonable thing. That means pray, but 
receive medical attention. Because God, based on what the book of Sirach tells us, can also work through medical doctors and nurses and what medical practitioners do. Because they too are recipients of the gift of God for healing. So I encourage you, if you are sick, do what's right. However, what this man teaches me, and I guess teaches every one of us, is that there is one who has a final word. That means God has a final word. I am saying and it's possible that doctors may have given up on this child, that there's not much we can do. What this man shows us more than anything else, he doesn't say, don't go to the hospital, don't try anything else, just go to God. That's not what he's saying here. What he's revealing to us here is that when we have tried everything else and it doesn't offer us, we shouldn't think we're done. There's nothing else we can do. When man fails, that's when God demonstrates his own power and authority that he has a final word and no one else has. That should help us feel some comfort that should make us take some confidence that we have a God who is always behind us, who is not threatened by our own anxieties or by the challenges out there because he has power over everything. I don't know where you are right now. Maybe like this, Father, you worry. You worry that something will happen, maybe to your old mother, to your old father, to your sick husband or sick wife, or to a child that you have whose immune system is compromised. As I listen to what God is saying in this passage, he's saying to you, you may rest assured that he will be with you. You just do what you have to do. Take precautionary measures, take all steps, that you need to take, because I believe when we do our part, God will do his. Because scripture also tells us, God is always faithful. He will do what he says he will do. As we go through this moment, where our faith is tested, where our best is put to the test, let us remember, we are not alone. We do have a God who cares about us. We do have a God who is with us. We do have a God who has a power and authority over all things. And so we pray. We pray that God may help us come and slide it. The reason I say that, when we allow our anxieties to take us over, we forget to do what is right. Remember when you were learning how to drive, the first rule you were told, in an emergency, don't fret. Don't panic. Exercise some kind of control. That's what God is asking of, of us right now. Don't panic. Yeah, when the whole world is panicking, you don't panic. Why? Because you know behind you, as the Bible says, there's something greater than there is out there in the world. God is with us. We're not alone through all of this. And may God help us to embrace this truth, to feel the power of this truth, and to demonstrate it by how we face this challenge together. As always, I'd like to end my reflections by reminding you that you are the delight of the Almighty God and that God loves you very much. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Let us now rise and pray. Let us ask our good God to be with our pontiff, the Pope, to be with bishops around the world, to be with priests, to be with all men and women who are right now on their knees begging God's mercy. That our good God may hear us. That our good God may demonstrate his power over this virus. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for those who have died. Pray especially for many who are so desperately sick right now in emergencies. Pray for those in ICUs. Pray that doctors and nurses may minister care and love and that their ministry may bring healing. We pray to the Lord. Lord yeah, yeah. We pray for medical persons, especially those who are at risk of their own health, 
that God may protect them as they risk their lives to save our brothers and sisters who are sick. We pray to the Lord. Yes, yes. We pray for all of us who are still healthy, that God may help us take seriously this challenge and do everything that we can to avoid contagion or avoid passing it on to some undeserving person. We pray to the Lord. Oh, yes, yes. We pray that at this time of great anxiety and fear, that God may speak calm to our world, that we may feel the peace of God in our hearts. We pray to the Lord. Oh, yes, yes. We pray for our doctors here, here, here at World Tree. Pray for our nurses. Pray for those who are here in any capacity because they are essential, that they may realize the deeper sense of their calling at a time of great need here in our country and around the world. We pray to the Lord. Oh, yes, yes. Let us ask our Blessed Mother to intercede for us as together we say, Hail Mary. Full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed, blessed are thou amongst women, and blessed, blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. In bread we bring you born, our bodies labors, in wine we offer you, our spirit We do not ask you born, who is our neighbor, but join you united now. One in belief. Oh, we are gladly head your word, your holy word, and now in answer, Lord, our gifts we bring, our failing faith make whole, our failing hearts renew. Our lives belong to you, our Lord and God. Blessed thy Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have this bread to offer, fruits of the earth and work of human hands become our bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed thy Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have this wine to offer, fruits of the vine and work of human hands become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Mighty God and Pray, my beloved sisters and brothers, pray that my sacrifice and yours be acceptable to God, our Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands to the praise and glory of His name. Father, we are the of all His holy church. Amen. May we receive, O Lord, we pray, the effects of this offering dedicated to you, so that we may be cleansed from our old earthly ways and be renewed by growth in heavenly life. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with and you. with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation always stands everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for your will that our self-denial should give you thanks. Humble our sinful pride. Contribute to the feeding of the poor. And so help us imitate you in your kindness. And so we glorify you with countless angels, as with one voice of praise, we are claimed. Holy, holy, holy Lord, Lord of hosts, heaven, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, this gift we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, that they may become for us the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, the Lord Jesus took bread and giving thanks he broke it 
gave each disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, the Lord took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory. Let us proclaim the mystery of our faith. We proclaim your the death, O Lord, Lord, and profess, profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and this chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope, and Timothy our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember, O Lord, all those who have been sickened by this virus, especially those in critical condition. May they feel the power of your grace. May they feel the strength of your courage. And may they feel the love of your heart. Remember all those who have passed as a result of this virus, O oh God. Grant that they who were united with your son in a death like his may also be one with him in his resurrection. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them to the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray. That with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have placed you throughout the ages, we may merit to the co heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Let us now pray in the words our Lord gave us. Our Father, who art, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil, Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord of kingdom, the power oh, and, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. And graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord Jesus be with you all. And with your spirit. Dear friends, wherever you are, feel my peace from me to you. God loves you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Look up, my sisters. Look up, my brothers. Look up and behold 
the Lamb of God. By his stripes, we are all healed. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. And Lord, what that is should enter under my mind. And I'll receive the word of my soul. Shall be healed. Jesus, I believe. Jesus, I believe. Jesus, I believe. I believe in you. Jesus, I believe. Jesus, I believe. Jesus, I believe. I believe in you. Now, and for all of you who may not be able to receive Jesus in this Eucharist. Let us pray. Most gracious God, you meet the needs of your people in more ways than our minds could ever phantom. On this day, where your children all around the world desire to receive you, but cannot receive you in body and blood, we ask, dear God, that they may experience the power of spiritual communion, that the grace is their desire may be granted to them in full measure to meet every need. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. May your holy gift, O Lord, we pray, give us life by making us new, and by sanctifying us, lead us to things eternal. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Before the final blessing, I'd like to express my thanks to all of you, wherever you're watching this, especially to our sick here at Walter Reed. We continue to pray for you every day. Remember the mercy of God is real and the peace of God is true. And just remember that God loves you very much. For our closing hymn, we will sing, Abide with me. We'll sing verse one and four. But before then, bow your heads and pray for God's blessing. Renew your people within and without, O Lord, and since it is your will that they be unhindered by bodily delights, give them, we pray, perseverance in their spiritual intent. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Through the prayers of our blessed mother, may God bless and keep you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen.
Dear friends, this mass is ended. We go forth in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. Have an amazing day. And remember, you are the delight of the Almighty God. God loves you very much. Let us sing. Abide with me, fast for the even time. The darkness deepens, Lord, with me abide. When all the help fast fail and comforts flee, help of the helpless to abide with me. Come not in sorrow as the King of Kings, bed kind and good with healing in thy wings. Yes, for all woes, a heart for every Defend us in battle, be our protection against the wickedness and the snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray, and do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, cast into hell sin and all the evil spirits who prowl through the world, seeking the reins of souls. Amen. That concludes our liturgy for today. Request denied. Request denied. Request denied. Lost and request denied.